Hello everybody, I am Just Lance and I would like to welcome you all back for another video. Anyways, as you can see in the title of the video, this is a straight razor shave, or at least as much of it as I can get done um, before I have switched to a DE. The razors of choice are, right now, my only straight razor, which is my Diamond 5 8 uh, square tip straight. Last time you saw it, the blade, the metal was dull looking and everything. But as you can see, it's nice and polished now. The scales, if I remember correctly, they have been polished with um, Renaissance wax. And uh, the work on this razor was done by Guy Solis of the Shaving Chronicles, which, by the way, um, has subscribed to my channel under his, just his name. So, Guy, thank you for the extra sub on that. Uh, another new subscriber I would like to mention is Tosh. Anyways, before I start, I want to show you guys something. I also have two quite nice razor straps. The first one is this one, made by Guy Solis. Up here it says, created by Gentleman's Edge. Nice piece of leather. On the back is vintage fire hose for the heavy work. Has a nice clip and a nice ring style handle. I also have another strop here, which I always said from day one when I started thinking about getting into straight razor shaving, I saw a strop and I was like, if I ever get into straight razors, that's one of the strops I want. And it's this one, a three inch wide Razor Emporium Russet Horsehide Strop. It's a two piece strop, nice canvas back, has these nice paddle handles and a nice good clip. I just got done stropping the razor a little bit ago on my Razor Emporium Horside Strop. So, um, what else we got here? The brush is my early turn and shave. Um, really nice, nice handle. 24 millimeter synthetic, not sure what the knot's called. This was before Milton started putting the coins on the bottom. The soap I also got from Guy. He didn't like it. It is a grapefruit scent, but I don't know. There might be something extra to grapefruit. I don't mess with grapefruits that much, but it's a good smelling soap. And it is, holy cow, I cannot remember the name. That's why it's in the title of the video. So, and... I'll go as far as I can with the straight, and then I will go ahead and finish it up with a Gillette red tip, 1956 red tip, with a Pulse Silver Super Iridium blade with, it'll be its second shade. I did a video here last time I shaved, which was about a week ago, I guess. I've just been feeling kind of blah. And um, I used this soap, but I used a Heritage Shaving Collection brush, um, which I'll use in the next video. Um, not the one that I've already used. It's the second, the second one I got. And it is a... Um, has a West Coast Shaving 3-band Badger gel tip knot in it. And um, I just wasn't getting good good um, results from the soap. And I don't blame the soap for that. I blame myself. There we go. Let's set the razor out of the way. 
Go ahead, wet the face. Had some of the overflow off the puck on my hands, so what the heck, use it as appreciated. And see you in one sec. As you can see, I got lather on my mustache. Um, we're just gonna take it all off tonight. Oh yeah. I'm using the Doug Bear method for um, taking the soap off of the blade by just wiping it with a um, Fun. There we go. Yeah, it's taking it down pretty good. Nice smooth edge. Of course, I'm not a straight razor guy, so. But it's not dragging. Very nice. Okay, here we go. Over to the other side. Weather is starting to cool off nicely here. Not as good on the other side, but yeah, here's what it is. That's not the blade's fault, that's mine, because this is like the third straight razor shave I've ever done. So, other than, you know, fiddle farting around with Chevette's. Blade's cutting pretty good. Trying very hard not to get water <laughs> on my hinge pivot pin. Okay. 
I'll tell you what, guys. I really got to hand it to teachers. You know, my son, he's doing this distance learning stuff. Um, because of the whole COVID thing. And, um, I gotta give it to his teacher. A whole classroom full of six-year-olds, five, you know, six year, six and seven-year-olds. Nah. Um, me and my girlfriend, we uh, sit in the same room he's in when he's doing his schooling. That way, so if he needs any help. And um, yeah, <laughs> little six-year-olds they like to interrupt teachers. I'll give them that. All right, let's go off with the upper lip. I took that mostly off. Very nice. Oh yeah, a lot of whiskers in that in that in that ladder right there. A lot of whiskers. Look at that, guys. Whiskers. Trying to run those. Almost dug in the blade. Would not have been good to take in the blade on that upper lip. Alright, I think I'm going to finish up the rest with the red tip. Set this over here. And grab the red tip out of my fender hen stand. Lots of residual slickness on this self, very nice. Alright, let's see. Hmm. I'm gonna apply a little more lather and go over the areas where I had issues. This 
so. Whiskers are kind of, you know, kind of half ass in it here, but, you know, it's only my third straight razor shave, guys, so, you know. But it is smooth. It was definitely cutting. I mean, just up here on the top lip. That's evident. So anyways, my uh, girlfriend and I had a 2017 Kia Sedona LX that we was getting on lease and um, it was time to turn it back in and uh, The end result was, one moment. The end result was that tonight, my girlfriend actually pulled up in a 2019 Dodge Grand Caravan. I can't remember the trim model. But she got it at a pretty good price. Or we're getting it at a pretty good price. And you know, this Corona stuff is calming down. My girlfriend can go back to Uber in or DoorDash. So. And she's got a couple of, you know, another job lined up. So, we are once again mobile. Cross the green. So, anyways, how have all of you been? Hope everybody's been staying safe and healthy and all that good and all that and all that jazz. One thing I can say about straight razor shaving is I can see why it's not everybody's why it's not everybody's cup of tea. I think I just heard gunshots off in the distance. Lovely. Um, hopefully, hopefully I was hopefully I'm wrong on that. Hate to think somebody got hurt. No, that's gunshots. Quite a ways in the distance. <sighs> All right, let me rinse off. No, I was supposed to be going across the green. I went with the green here on the chin. Oh well, be against green, we'll get it. I'm not gonna do the post shave because I'm going to be doing a head shave so I'll probably film that but yeah <laughs> just um, 
this whole distance learning thing, man, no. Because, of course, six-year-olds, I'm tired. I'm not comfortable. I want to hum. I want to sing. I want to talk. And, oh, boy. Um, the cool thing was, is today, my, uh, Sons, the teachers of my son's school. Oh, there's the sirens off in the distance. But um, no, my son, he's like, I'm not, I'm not comfortable. I'm tired. When is break? <laughs> so it's always fun. The kid's smart as a whip, I'll tell you what, though. Math is kind of his get down, so to speak. Teacher us to, today kept telling one of the boys, Hey, turn your camera on. I need to see that you're with us. And then the boy turned the camera back on. Start talking about something to do with a cat up on the table. And teacher told him, well, make sure the your cat doesn't, you know, walk across your stuff and he's all no it was a video and she's like put the phone down didn't yell you know she didn't like button harsh on she just stone she's like sweetie put the phone down you're in class Other kids were this one little girl that for some reason each day at least well not each day let me take that back a couple of times a week two or three times a week I don't have my packet where's your packet I don't know That's weird. Well, would have liked to been able to get a pull straight as you're saving, but I'm still learning to walk with it, so to speak. But I'll get better. I'll get better. Let me check out here. See what I got going on. Not bad. Not bad. A little bit of stubble right there where the mustache was, but it's been several weeks since I shaved, so. Still a little slickness from the holy cow. All right. You're gonna go ahead and rinse off. I'll be back for the alum. Maggots I won't stick. Not bad. Oh yeah, real sensitive around the, where the mustache was. But anyways, so, let me go ahead and let me rinse this off, and I'll be back. But anyways, I'll go ahead and, um, 
I'll contact Guy Solis and um, I'll find out because, you know, he makes drops. You saw his drop. You saw one of his drops. So the man makes pretty decent drops. Really nice drops, as a matter of fact. And um, I'll, kind of, I'll talk to him more and find out exactly what all types of services he's he does. And um, I'll share that information in a later video. Which won't be the next one because I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to film my head shape. But anyways, yeah, pretty good shape, guys. Anyways, thank you for joining me. Likes, comments, subscriptions, always appreciate it. If you do subscribe, um, go ahead and kick that bell and click all for on the notifications. That way you'll be notified whenever I upload a video. Um, I really, really want to get back into doing more and more videos. Um more regularly so you know um, hopefully i get back in the swing of that here soon anyways guys i'll see y'all later and, um, and y'all take it easy and i shall see all of you again on the flip side of the blade bye bye now